Hey guys, welcome to Comics with Bueller. As always, I'm Bueller. Today's your preview video for all new comics coming to comic shops and online for August 28, 2024. I'm guessing we got 200 books to show you guys today. Everything from Boom, Image, Marvel, Dynamite, you name it, we got it. I'm just guessing. I'm doing this kind of early. But if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, subscribe right now. It does help us out quite a bit. We are going to do our claim set on Thursday, so join us. And we're also doing the comic shop spotlight at the end of the video. And also at the end of the video, I'll give you a tour of where I'm at. And this place is kind of cool. And there's storms coming, but I will tell you exactly where I'm at and walk around. It'll be a couple minute tour. So if you guys want to stick around towards the end, I'm always at pretty cool places. Right now I got this place all to myself and you can see there's the Bueller bus right there. All right, so do me a favor, stick around to the end, watch the tour. Uh, let's not waste more time. Let's take a look at the books and I'll see you after the video. Okay, off and running with Biomax number five on Black Box Comics. I believe that was delayed from last week, but look at this one. Deadly Trails number one, cover A and cover B, a new title from Black Box Comics. This book looks awesome. Cover C is my pick. I'm pretty sure I'm putting that on the thumbnail. Here is cover D. Really looking forward to this book. The Quarrel number one. Not sure if this is coming out, but I wanted to put it in there anyway because I saw it on the list. Negaduck number seven, cover A and cover B. And cover C, this is by Dynamite Comics. Just one title from them this week. Let's move on to Marvel. Aliens versus Avengers, number one, the main cover. Yes, we'll finally get this. Here is the homage variant from the uh, movie poster. The Brooks variant, not bad. The Scotty Young goodness right there. That's pretty funny. <laughs> the Orzo variant. Orzu? Orzo? I don't know. The 1 in 25 incentive cover, followed by the 1 in 100 incentive version Brooks variant. Amazing Spider-Man number 56, the main cover. Here is the Disco variant. We got a few of these this week. They're almost done. The Lobos variant, he's been killing it lately as a car goes by. The Medina variant, the 1 in 25 incentive cover, and the 1 in 100 incentive cover. Lobos variant. Captain America, number 12, the main cover. We got another <laughs> disco variant, not bad. I like this one. The Masafara variant. Chasm, Curse of Cain, number one, the main cover. Not too familiar with this uh, character. Stormbreakers variant. The Coca Cola, or Coca Cola, I don't know. You got it. The one on 25 incentive cover. Like I said, not too familiar with uh, this character, so not really looking forward to that one too much. Deadpool team up number one, the main cover by Rob Liefeld. The Connor variant, homage, Incredible Hulk. The blank one, get uh, Liefeld to do some footwork action on there. The movie variant. <laughs> okay, here is the Coca-Cola variant. There's a couple of these this week as well. Another Rob Liefeld foil variant. Look at that foot right there. Another Rob Liefeld variant, not bad, so you got uh, some to choose from. The 1 in 25 incentive cover, followed by Fantastic Four, number 24, main Alex Ross cover, that's awesome. Another Stormbreakers variant, and another Coca-Cola variant. We got one more for Fantastic Four, the Riley variant, old school looking. The Incredible Hulk Annual, number one, the main cover. Here is the Shaw variant. Look at Hulk, man. He needs a haircut. It's getting a little wild there. The McCone variant. <laughs> and the 1 in 10 Pass Incentive variant. Sorry. <laughs> Marvel 85th Anniversary Special, number one, the main cover. The Colo variant. CeeLo variant. I don't know. It's, it's on the page. You can look at it right there. Look at that. The wraparound one. That's pretty cool. The Scotty Young wraparound. That's cool as well. The Espinal variant. Look at that. That's Rawhide Kid. The Another Coca-Cola one. Whatever. <laughs> the 1 in 50 incentive cover. And NYX number 2. The main cover here is an awesome looking one. The Chew variant. That's pretty cool. And then we have a Wolf variant followed by the incentive cover of a 1 in 50 incentive chew variant not bad at all phase of the moon knight number one main cover the brasson variant the chew variant another chew variant not bad 
the Riaz variant, the Hans variant. We'll see some of these again with the uh, Virgin incentives, the one in 50 incentive right there, and the one in 100 incentive cover. Spider Gwen, the Ghost Spider, number four, the main cover. She's not happy with her makeup. The Lee variant, ripping that face right off. The Fairy variant. The one in 50 incentive cover. That's kind of cool. I like it. The Horn variant, another good looking cover. Star Wars Ahsoka. Ahsoka? Ahsoka? Number two, the main cover. The Doroso variant. The Darbo variant. There's a lot of variants for this one. I don't know why. The yellow fly variant. Yes, that's what it's called. The one in 10 incentive cover. The one in 100 incentive cover. Ultimate X-Men number six main cover. Still not feeling this whatsoever. The Hetrick uh, variant. The Momoko variant. The Hans variant. The Moore variant. Venom War Zombie Oats, number one main cover. Somebody needs a trip to the dentist on that one. The Campana variant. Look at that. <laughs> Jesus. Stormbreaker variant. You need to get that looked at. Venom Separation Anxiety, number four. The A and the B cover. Look at that. That's an old school with the border. We like those. Venomverse Reborn, number three, the main cover. The Chu variant, a lot of Venom stuff this week. The U variant, the Chu variant and the U variant, and then the 1 in 25 incentive, I think that's Stegman, if I'm not mistaken, and the 1 in 100 incentive cover, the Virgin one. X-Force number two, the main cover. Did you read X-Force number one? Let me know in the comments down below if it was any good. I thought about picking this up. Looked kind of cool. Bagley variant right there. Uh, but if you read the first one, let me know in the comments. I'd like to know if it was any good. Disco variant, the Coleman variant, multiverse. The Harris variant. The 1 in 25 incentive variant. Followed by the 1 in 100 incentive Clayton Crane variant. X-Men number 3, the main cover. <laughs> the Campbell variant, that's nice. The Jones variant. The Asrar variant. Asrar. <laughs> the 1 in 25 incentive. I think that's Greg Land. The 1 in 100 incentive virgin variant, Campbell. On the Image Comics Convert, number one. Drawing Blood, number five. The A cover and the B cover for that one. Look at that guy just chilling in his chair. That's nice. Gromit's number four, cover A and cover B. I got the first issue, it's pretty good. Might need to go back and pick up the trade because I missed a bunch. The Infernals, number five, cover A and the B cover for that one. King Spawn, number 37, cover A, great cover. And cover B, not bad as well. $2.99 cover price, don't forget, pick them all up. The Last Mermaid, number six, cover A. And cover B, these are the magazine uh, sized books. Monstrous, number 54, just keeps on going. Knights, number 10. Remote Space, number 3. Look at this next one. Oh, Rogue Sun, number 21. I think it's the next one. Rook Exodus, number 5, cover A and cover B. I think it's the next one that I like so much. Nope, Sacrificers number 11, cover A and cover B. Okay, the next one after this is the one I'm really looking forward to. Nope, not that one. <laughs> Jesus, Saga 68. Here it is, Spawn 356, cover A. Look at that beautiful cover. And the B cover, like I said again, $2.99 cover price. Followed by Spawn Kills Every Spawn number one. I believe that one is also a $2.99 cover price. Transformers, the 40th anniversary edition number one. The A and the B cover, and then we have the blank cover. So if you're looking for the anniversary edition, this is it right here. Frankenstein, number one, cover A and cover B. Looking forward to these. I got the uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon ones. I like those. Cover C. This is that Monsters Universe. Cover D. Cover E. I believe 
we got one more for this one. Cover F. That's nice. Get a look right at you. Okay, Void Rivals is still going strong with number 12, the A cover and the B cover. A few for this one. Cover C. And cover D, I believe that's it. For Image Comics. Nope, we got one more. Cover E. There's the uh, logo right there. Berserker, the Lost Book of B. Number one, cover A and cover B. Lost Book of Bueller right there. Dune House Carino, number five, cover A and cover B. This is Boom Studios, by the way. Farscape, 25th anniversary special, number one, cover A and cover B. I was just talking about Farscape with my brother the other night. It's kind of funny that this pops up. Hello, Darkness, number two, cover A and cover B. <laughs> Once and Future, Pen and Ink, number one, cover A and cover B. This was a great book when it was coming out. Something is still killing the children. Number 40, cover A and cover B. Apparently, Erica Slaughter is not very good at her job. Because by now, she would have stopped the uh, children from being killed. Maybe they need to look at someone else. Cover E. Cover F. Get that berserker guy in there. Take care of business. Cover G. Okay, uh, Godzilla vs. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number five, cover A and cover B, IDW Publishing right here. The Hunger and the Dusk, book two, number two, cover A, cover B for that one. Look at those ears. The Rocketeer Breaks Free, number two, cover A and cover B. Always love me some Rocketeer action. It's like a dude with a rocket on his back. Star Trek Defiant. Number 18, cover A and cover B. Who wouldn't like a jetpack rocket? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, black, white, and green. Number four, cover A and cover B. And we got some more turtle stuff right here. TMNT, Saturday Morning Adventures, number 16. The A and the B cover. Kid-friendly books right there. Masters of the Universe Revolution, number four, cover A and cover B. This is dark. Horse Comics located in Milwaukee, Oregon, my hometown. Nemesis Rogue Gallery, number two, cover A and cover B. Mark Millar. Resident Alien, The Book of Life, number three. Great TV show, by the way. The Writer, number three. Absolute Power Origins, number two, cover A and cover B. On the DC Comics right now. Absolute Power Task Force seven or whatever it is number five cover a and cover b another truck goes by do me a favor check out comics on coffee i'm drinking it right now i literally am i'm drinking the ghost roast and uh, it's pretty good but go there buy some coffee batman superman wonder woman all that good stuff save 15 percent enter the code bueller buy the lord of the rings coffee buy the uh, uh ghost roast there you go batman dark age number five cover a and cover b speaking of batman they got that new mcfarland Batman uh, on the bag. That's awesome. I've been waiting for that for a while. Check that out. Batman Off World, number five, cover A, cover B. Have you tried the Comics on Coffee before? Let me know in the comments down below. I would appreciate it. Cover C, I'd like to know. Batman The Brave and the Bold, number 15, cover A, and cover B. And also, if you want to give this video a like because you like the video, please feel free to do that as well. Cover C, but if you didn't like it, don't do it. <laughs> cover D, that's a cool cover. Detective Comics number 1088, cover A and cover B. Cover C. I'm still in Kansas, by the way, almost by Kansas City at a lake just outside of there. Cover D, so if you guys are in Kansas. Cover E, that's not bad looking. The Flash, number 12, the A cover and the B cover. That's pretty cool. Flash is probably my favorite DC character. Cover C. Cover D because, you know, he just runs. So, I mean, he's like the Forrest Gump of uh, comic books. Cover <laughs> cover E. Gotham City Sirens. Number four, cover A. Cover B. I'm pretty sure the Flash was around before Forrest Gump. But you know what? It is what it is. Cover C. Cover D. I believe this is the last one in the series for this one. Green Arrow, number 15, cover A, and cover B by Joshua Williamson. Good dude. 
Hellblazer Dead in America, number eight, cover A and cover B. This is delayed from last week. Another cool cover right there. I said that last week as well. The Nice House by the Sea, number two, cover A and cover B. Remember the house used to be by the lake, but they moved it to the sea. Cover C. There's a dog sitting there by a skillet. Power Girl, number 12, cover A. She's got the uh, uh, cover B, a uh, certain look to her that people seem to enjoy. So, cover C. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Cover D, those action figure ones with the price tags. Like those. Zatanna, bring down the house. Number three, cover A. Uh, cover B, remember House Party? The original, not the remake at LeBron's house. Cover C, House Party 3. Zero Hour, 30th Anniversary Special. Number one, cover A. A lot of uh, anniversary specials this week. Cover B, cool looking cover. Cover C, Zero Hour. I believe this is the last one for DC. Cover D. Then we got some more independent goodness coming up here. Almost dead, but not quite. Number three, cover A and cover B by a blaze. Barbaric versus Deathstalker, number one, cover A and cover B. This is Vault Comics, by the way. Lilith, number one, cover A and cover B. They just released something crawled out. I believe that's in stores right now, so pick something crawled out. Biker Mice from Mars, number two, cover A and cover B. Biker Mice from, where'd they get the bikes from? That's what I want to know. Slaughter Otter. <laughs> Jesus. Here, there you go, the B cover. Uh, the Savage Sword of Conan, number four, cover A and cover B. And cover C. Not really a fan of any of those covers, but. Still a good read from what I hear. The Last Wardens, number two. This is by, uh, I think, uh, Mad Cat? I don't know. The Mammoth, number three. Final Fight, number two. This will probably be delayed, but put it in there just in case. Exciting Comics, number 46. And we're going to finish with these again. Deadly Trails, number one, cover A. This book looks so cool. Cover B, they all have great covers. And there's an exclusive one on the blackboxcomics.net uh, website that you can pick up. And cover D, and we are done. Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you saw something you like. Like I said, about 200 books, maybe. I don't know. Uh, our comic shop spotlight of the week is The Deep, which is in Huntsville, Alabama, which is where I'm heading to go see my good friend Robbie. So if you haven't been to The Deep, uh, it's the best shop that uh, I've been to, to be honest. One of the top three uh, easy ones. And uh, it's really cool. Okay. Let's uh, take a look. Uh, that's by Black Box Comics, by the way. Thank you, Black Box, for sponsoring the Comic Shop Spotlight of the Week. Go to blackboxcomics.net. Enter that code Bueller. You save uh, 5 or 10%. Bueller 10. That's right. Okay. Let's take a look around where I'm at. I'm at Monument Rock outside of Scott City in uh, Kansas. And we'll just kind of walk around here. And first things first, I'll just show you. There's the bus right there. Okay. But let's take a look around. There's not a lot going on in Kansas, but this place is pretty cool. And you know, we'll just kind of go through here. You guys can stick with me a few minutes, right? Why not? We're gonna go through this <laughs> through this little tunnel here. I guess to get a bird's eye view. A little windy. There we go. Pretty cool. You go through that thing, and uh, thanks for sticking with me, by the way. Don't forget to like and subscribe, all that stuff. I don't care. You guys don't have to. Don't want to. Anyway, uh, and then you come into this other area right here, and the lighting is just fantastic. So that's kind of cool. And as you can see, we got some really dark storm clouds, but it's really awesome. And I got this place all to myself. There's nobody here. It's it's out in the middle of nowhere, and it's like the most interesting thing to see in Kansas, and it's down like a dirt road. And you would think they would make it something like a tourist attraction and make it easy to access, but it's not. We're just walking around the corner here. You, know, you don't need to watch if you don't want to. But I just think, uh, you know, we got something cool in Kansas, so might as well show it off. This goes on a little bit. It's not very big size of a football field um but anyway very cool all right we're gonna keep going here you guys can kind of follow along there's that loop back there 
and we'll go around the corner. I'll go all around the bus. So give me one minute. If you guys can hang with me for one minute, I'd appreciate it. But if you don't want to, I get it. Uh, because, you know, I just got comics to buy and stuff. I think we can get out this way. Yeah. See if we're go right down here. Okay, come on. Thanks for walking with me. You gonna buy that new book? <laughs> or whatever. This is kind of cool. There's a little hole up there. Rock hole. But, uh, yeah. So this is my longest outro by far. But, you know, it is what it is. We'll climb up here. We'll go around the, uh, this little place. So you guys can see what I'm doing. And, uh, hey, I, I want to give a special shout out to my Patreons. Um, I appreciate you guys, past and present and future. If you guys want to support the channel, I do appreciate it. The Patreon link is down in the description of the video. Uh, really kind of makes it easier to do the things I like to do and go to places I like to go. Like this place right here. Okay, let's see here. All right, there's that side. And if I pan around here, look at that, there's the bus. There's another little column over there. I guess that's private property, so I don't know if you can go there. But anyway, all right, guys, that's a little tour of Monument Rock here in Kansas. Hopefully you guys like it. And appreciate you guys sticking around. Do me a favor, don't forget to live your best life. You know what to do. I'll see you next time.